Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another time in the upper room or prayer room or place to pray. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining with me today. Uh, we've been doing a study through the book of Proverbs as we lead ourselves in a place of prayer. And we're presently in Proverbs chapter 4. We started with verse 20 yesterday, so we'll continue there. It says, my son, my daughter, my child, you know, give attention to my words, right? Give attention to my words because my words are your life. They're your guidance. They are my person that I'm, I'm that they're my person that I'm extending to you, you know? And, and we see that parallels uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, as God was talking to Joshua. He says, the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. It's the same way saying, give attention to my word. The book of the law is the word of God. It says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night you shall dwell in it you shall spend time in it you shall make it your companion you shall have fellowship you shall have intercourse with the word you know day and night not just day not just night but always continually you dwell in the word you make it your 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 you make it common you you make it your something that is a part of you, you make it your normal. Dwelling in the word becomes your normal. Thinking about the word becomes your normal. You are you you are you allow the word to to take captive your mind, take captive your person, right? It says, but you meditate in it day and night. Why? So that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. It is not just a dwelling in the word that's important. There's a reason why we dwell in the word. There's a reason why we give attention to the word so that we can observe to do the, what it's saying. We can walk in it. We can live in it. We can become one with it. It's not just a matter of hearing the word. It's not just a matter of quoting the word, but it's, a, it's becoming, it's making that word become flesh in us. Making that word be, begin to live in and through us that's what's important that's where the life is that's where the power is right is to cause the word to to become to to be to become flesh in us to become reality in our being in our person right that is what's important so it's that it says so that you might observe to do it the power of the word is in us observing to do it is in us leaving it out like would so popularly say the power of knowledge is in application knowledge is useless if all i'm doing is stuffing my head with knowledge it only makes me puffed up make me feel like i have arrived oh i know you don't know you know it makes it makes people to be proud right but the power of knowledge the power of of giving attention to god's word is in causing it to 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 be lived out in our person in our life causing our life to be mapped according to what it says you know uh, psalm 119 you know the psalmist says that your word have i put in my heart so that i will not sin against you your word have i put in my heart so that i can live and walk according to it you know so that i can be pleasing before you Right, the way we are pleasing before God is when we leave His word, when we when we when we cross His word, you know, to direct and order our steps, you know. So again, in Proverbs chapter four, verse twenty, when He says, "My son, give attention to My word," God is saying, "Live according to My word." You know, give attention to it is making making sure that what we read there, what the word is saying, influences our life. You know, or does our step, you know, causes a change in our life. So, so that there's a marriage between what God is saying and what we are doing. All right. So attending is not just knowing. Attending is leaving the word, 
practicing the word, causing the word to be visible in us. Again, it's like uh, the church in Antioch. The Bible says they call them Christians in Antioch. They call them Christians because they saw people that look like Christ, people that were living according to the way of Christ. They did not just speak about it, but they lived it. They caused the word to be, to be alive in them. Right, and that's what God is looking for when God says that He's looking for those that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for people that are not just going to mount His word, that but people that are going to leave His word. You know, Jesus began to talk about the Pharisees. He says that they, 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 with their mouth they are close to God, but their heart is far away. You know, God is looking for people whose mouth are not just close to Him, but whose hearts are close to Him, whose hearts are with Him, and the way we show that our heart hearts are with, with God is by leaving his word, obeying him, because, you know, obeying him is how we show that we love him, you know, and we are one with him, you know, and God will help us. Let's pray. Uh, so we're still looking at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, you know, it says, my son, my child, my daughter, give attention to my word, Just mm. give attention to my word. You know, the word attention is the word to wait on my word. Mm. It, it's not just to wait to hear it, but to, with the intention of doing something about what we are hearing. You know, it's like the waiter at the restaurant. They wait on the guest. They just wait on the guest, just looking at the guest. They wait and do something about what they are hearing. Because when they are waiting, they are listening for what the guest needs. And once they hear what the guest needs, they do something about it. So when God is saying, attend to my word, is the Listen to my word to hear what my word is saying and do something about what you are mm -hmm. You know, so when we attend to God's word, we're listening to hear what the intent and the mindset and the attitude to obey, right? So it's not enough just to read the words. I will just read the word, put the Bible under their uh, pillow. Mm. There's the power in doing that. <laughs> the power of the word is in hearing what the word is saying and doing accordingly. That's where the power comes, right? So God says, walk in the power of the word. Let the word talk to you. Let the word control you. Let the word order your life, you know? Let my word be, be, be paramount in your life. You know, listen to my word. Listen to it again and again and again until you can get direction. Until there's a word behind you saying this is the way, walk down in it. You know, that's the intent for attending to the word. He says, I mm -hmm. climb to your ear to my saying because it is our life. You know, because we none of us comes here knowing how to lead this life. It's only when we get it that we we'll learn how to lead this life. Right. So one of the things we get from the word is the what we need to order our steps. We want to say, God, I don't know how to walk. Teach me to walk. Teach me to crawl. Teach me to run. Teach me to, fl to fly. Teach me to talk. Teach me to listen. Teach me to think. Teach me to order my ways. Right. Because it's the right way to do it, each and every one of that. And the way, each one that we do or not do is a seed. And we're going to reap the, the harvest of our seed. If we sow the wrong seed, we're going to get the wrong harvest. If we sow the right seed, we're going to get the right harvest. God says, I am not mocked. I am not mm. this. I cannot be played. I am not just going to say because you go to church, because you call, you go to, you belong to that congregation, because your name is Samuel or your name is John. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's, Whatever I sow, that's what I'm going to reap. If I sow the right fruits or the right seed, I will hit, I will reap the right fruits. You know, again, it says give, sow, and you will, you will reap. You know, you will reap in multiple fold of what you sow. Question is, what are you sowing? What is it giving you as, a, as an harvest? And it says that if we attend to his word, then we know how to do that right. In the morning, I was just correlating that to Joshua 1 8. You know, same thing God was telling Joshua. It says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. You dwell in it day and night. You attend to it day and night. You give yourself to it day and night. You stay under the influence day and night. 
the result is the harvest that you may observe to do according to all that's written in it. If you attend to it, then you hear what it's saying and you do what is written in it. You know, when you do that, for, for then you will make your way prosperous and 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 then you will have good success, right? We all want to have a prosperous life. We want to have good success in this on this side of eternity. There's a way to do it. It's not magic. It's not because someone laid hands on us. It's not because someone prayed for us. There's a way to it. And that's what the word is saying. Attend to my word. Attend to my word. Let your ears incline to my sayings so that you can do dairy and you can hear the answer for your life. You can hear the word for December. You can hear the word for 2024. There's a way to live 2024, right? It's not necessarily the same as the way we've lived 2023. There's a way to leave January 2024. There's a way to leave February 2024. And we we'll hear that when we attend to his word, when we attend to God saying, we will hear a word from behind us saying, this is the way, walk there in it. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, the answers, prayers. And... Uh, but, huh. Before he will answer those prayers, whether we do anything or we don't do, is God that does it by himself. But he has given us instruction to stick to his words, his words that are here and evil. Just like instructions are given to little children and they obey. But the person giving instruction already knew quite well that, oh, I'm favoring this child. But instruction will still need to be given so that the child will be in alignment with the will of the person who wants to favor. Uh, God is a God of favor. He's a God of open door. He's a God of uh, 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 the one that breaks barriers. Every opportunity that the Lord has given us is just is given us for us to be in alignment with his will. We already have a downloaded will for us which must be accomplished and we are the one to make it happen. So mm -hmm. left for him, he doesn't have any other, any other thing than good news for us. Absolutely. So it's left for us to catch on it, to say, oh, where the Lord has positioned me, I receive it with thanksgiving in my heart. I receive, I follow his footsteps so that I will be able to get to where he designed me to be. Yeah. In other ways, even as we ruminate towards the end of this year to enter into the new year we will be able to position ourselves in the right direction that he has desired and designed us for in jesus name amen 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 it will help us it will help us and, and that's one of the reasons why we'll pray we'll pray to, on the portal for god's intervention in our lives you know jesus christ says without him we can do nothing and one of the ways we, we do something with him is by praying. It's by saying, God, let it be your hand upon my hand to enable mm. me to live, to enable me to walk, to enable me to talk, to enable mm. me to, to, to lead this life, to mm. enable me to face the challenge I face every day, to mm. enable me finish this year strong, to enable me cross over to the new year and do it much mm. better than I did this mm. one, you know? And and it's a, it's a, the Bible says to him that answered prayer shall all flesh come. We have not yeah. come to him. We have come to him that answers prayer. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and it makes a difference in our lives. Our lives are becoming mm -hmm. better in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. Amen. Have yeah. a, amen. Have a great yes. evening of the day. Amen. Thank you, man. Bless you, man. Yes, man. Bye-bye.